Hi, I hope that you are all well. Thank you so much for joining me today, where we are going to talk about our final book for May, Super Fake Love Song by David Yoon. I'll also mention a couple other books to read for a similar experience. So let's get started. Super Fake Love Song was written by David Yoon, and it's the story of Sunny Day, a 17-year-old who many would characterize as a geek. Sonny's parents are obsessed with work. They own their own business and they work constantly. Sonny's brother Gray is living in Los Angeles and pursuing a music career. When Sonny's parents ask him to entertain their friend's daughter, Cirrus, Cirrus mistakes Gray's room for Sonny's and he decides to pretend it's his room. How does he explain all the instruments? That's easy too. He and his friends are in a band, and when she, obviously, wants to hear them play, Sonny gets his friends to pretend with him too. Sonny is falling in love, having fun, and becoming a rocker for real. But it's only a matter of time before his lies and his real life catch up with him. And Sonny will need to answer these questions. Is it possible to truly change? And was it all worth it? Super Fake Love Song is a fun story about identity, perception, and how hard it can feel to simply be yourself. What are some books to read for a similar experience? I'm going to focus this time on topic and suggest books that might not be as fun as Super Fake Love Song, but are focused on identifying what is personally important to its character. First up is Shine by Jessica Young. Rachel Kim would give just about anything for a chance to live her dreams of becoming a pop star. She was recruited by one of Seoul's largest K-pop labels and the rules are simple. Train 24-7, be perfect, and don't date. Not so easy. Rachel begins to wonder if she is strong enough to be a winner or if she'll end up crushed. Especially since she's starting to have feelings for K-pop star Jason Lee, who is the first person to understand how badly she wants to succeed. Shine takes us inside the hyper-color world of K-pop, where stakes are high and the cost of success and love might be even higher. Parachutes by Kelly Yang. And the title refers to teenagers dropped off to live and study in the U.S. while their wealthy parents stay at home abroad. Claire never expected to be one of them until her parents enrolled her in high school in California. Now she's living in a stranger's house and enjoying the freedom of having no one tell her what to do. Danny is less than thrilled that her mom has rented out a room to Claire. Danny is an academic and debate team star who is determined to earn her way to Yale. Trying desperately to avoid one another, Danny and Claire find themselves about to collide in deep and complicated ways as they grapple with life. Parachutes is an unforgettable story about love, trauma, family, and the power of speaking out. And last but not least, Who Put This Song On by Morgan Parker. 17-year-old Morgan is trapped in sunny small town suburbia. She is teased for her weird outfits, told she is not really black, and spent most of her summer crying in bed. Why does it feel like the whole world is stuck on the same old track? Telling them how they feel, telling them what to believe in. Morgan begins to wonder when she can start living for herself. When Morgan finds a crew of fellow outcasts and puts her mental health first, she realizes she will always be intense, ridiculous, passionate, and sometimes hilarious. After all, darkness doesn't have to be bad. It's a real thing. And there we have it, our final books for May. I will be back soon when we will select what I'm reading in June. I hope 
that you will join me then and until then. I hope that you enjoy whatever you read. And thank you.